what I'd like you to do is to make sure that you're looking for all the long lines going down. Okay, all of these long lines are going to be into valleys and all of these diagonal lines are into hills. So this is a hill, 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 hill. So you'll start to see that they look like little roofs. So one of the easiest ways to do this is to turn it perpendicular, put your thumbs in to the first little 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 roofs on the side and start to push. You'll see some problems happening, like this is a long line, this has to go down. So I'm just going to encourage that down and keep pushing and push this little line up here with my finger underneath. The paper is getting pretty soft, but I'm going to start to push and control the crushing together with my just controlling the lines and then letting go you can see that each of these little diagonals each of these little roofs is inserting itself into the halfway point of the roof, roof above it. So I'm just going to do expanding and contracting pushing and letting go, turning the paper around and around. Here's a long line, this one needs to go down, press that down, keep them coming in, a little bit of control underneath and on top. Pressing and releasing. What will probably happen is you'll get a situation where something's going in the wrong direction like that. This is actually poking in the wrong direction. So you just poke it back down, poke it down. We'll do that again. So it's poking up in the wrong direction. So you need to put your finger on and poke it down again. There we go. And you'll find that after a while the paper will give in to you. And what you're after is again just a series of little mountains that look like this. And often what happens is one is up going up in the wrong direction like that. Basically you just have to remember that's part of your long line and you have to push them down. And this is what you're after. A little mountain range that you press like so and that forms your beautiful little biomimetic bug shape.